Hello, my Soccer Universe, to the last part of this rather crazy jersey review series, because usually I go alphabetically and then after B I went all over the place, but you know, it's this group, this last one, where uh, Ukraine especially messed things for me uh, by releasing a jersey just this week. And yeah, it cost a lot of stir and we'll talk about that one, sure, for sure. Uh, it was also not an easy decision for me what jersey to wear. Um, Ukraine is in the thumbnail because they're the top team in the in this group, so it had to be one of the other three. I decided to again open the Netherlands 2008 limited edition jersey back there, and that was between my home country Austria and North Macedonia. Spoiler alert, I won't be really supporting Austria this Euros, and I'll give you more on that in my um, pre Euro preview, grand preview video that I'm gonna post uh, on Friday. I might actually do two, uh, one a uh, general preview and one with my prediction or make one big video. I have not decided yet, but you know, there will be something coming for that. And so it's North Macedonia, it's anyway a nice jersey. And I asked my women in the house and they all three decided, yeah, take the one with the sun rays. So there it is. I'm actually really happy to have this one. So yeah, as I said, let's start with Ukraine. And I'm gonna give you also the jersey that we will not see, that was that actually should have been worn, which is this really nice offering by Homa. Uh, and I have to say, uh, off the bat, uh, Homa has done some outstanding work for the Eastern European teams that they have under contract. Uh, there is no doubt in my mind about that, that they really, really, really are uh, trying to make a splash there. And I'm, I'm very happy, especially for Bulgaria, I think, Every single Homer jersey that I've seen from Bulgaria for, 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 for Bulgaria had something really nice about it. Um, maybe not every one exactly what I'm looking for, but they always went for traditional looks. For Ukraine, they went a little bit more in the adventurous way. And you can see this here with this very interesting color. And then a pattern where you uh, you know you have the Ukrainian crown and some other uh, pieces in, in there. But I think it was a nice Ukraine jersey um, that I have no problem giving seven stars. And the away jersey is just flipping around the colors, but you can see actually the pattern uh, a little bit better. Uh, and so, yeah, also, I, I actually, uh, what, what I also like here, or is not, it, I think it's the other way around, uh, Ukraine has blue on top and then yellow on bottom, so uh, it's not the flag that you see there better, yeah, <laughs> my bad, but I, I don't exactly know what the pa pattern is, but it looks interesting, and I think it's also a nice jersey, jersey, I'm willing to give seven stars, so these are the old jerseys, not much talk about, so, the newly released, highly contentious jersey, at least in some circles is this new home jersey. I think the big move is, yes, we a slightly different color, it's still large yellow, but the big move was, of course, pulling the crest center, which then allows the number to be, uh, be on the left breast, which is a look, uh, as you may know, that I'm not a huge fan of, but I see it more often, I actually, and more that if you have it centered and with, um, that the number goes on the right, the main logo on the left and then the feather uh, and then the manufacturer mo logo in the middle that would be my favorite however the big feature on this one that caused so much stir is the outline of the country on there and why did it cause stir because crimea is on there as are some um eastern ukrainian pro provinces that are under separate control from russia crimea is of course completely annexed by Ru russia but the international community of course gives it to ukraine um diplomatic, I don't want to say diplomatic chaos in, in its doing, but you know, the Russians had to say something about that this is uh, whatever. I don't want to take sides. I actually think it is all right to put a jersey uh, with the international recognized borders out. That's at least my opinion. Uh, I know that they wanted to make a bang there because they also put all kinds of slogans that were uh, in those freedom movements, uh, you know, in those times when the annexation thing that came were um, used. So yeah, it was a rather, rather bold move. But the jersey overall uh, is not a bad one, but I have to say, I actually like the previous e e iteration a bit more. I give it six stars. I thought that the cultural pattern was a better accent than the country outline. 
And then they went the same route as um, previously. They just flip around the colors. So we have the same one with in blue. You see the country outline here even a little bit better. And there is a very, very fine print in there as, as well, which is up close really interesting to look at. Uh, the only thing I think has stayed large, larger same is the color uh, and the sleeve cuffs as far as I can tell they yeah they remain the same but uh, as on the home jersey again not much I think um, I'm gonna stay with the six stars here because there's not too much difference there. and then they also had a white jersey before I actually think the white with it goes a nice look as a third jersey again same thing I don't quite understand why we have to go white and gold for Ukraine. I have only recently heard that they are using this one. I think it's, they wore it twice and one was a friendly uh, just in, in a previous. Again, it's a nice look. I can see the gold has to do with the yellow of Ukraine. Okay, maybe some, some, something like that. Maybe there's a little bit more heat, heat it's behind it. I don't see a reason to differentiate it from the others. Also, six stars. Which then moves from the team that is the seeded team to the home team because the Netherlands can play all their games at home. And Nike really likes the Netherlands uh, orange with black. We had it on the previous iteration for 18 night and now we get it again. Um, with one big twist of course which is this huge print with the lion's head on there. And I have to say, you know, geometric print, you're immediately thinking Netherlands 1988. It's not quite that. Uh, I always like animal prints on there. Uh, recall the Czech Republic home jersey from 1819, which I really liked. This one, I am not so sure about it. I think they could have done it a little bit bolder. Also, as you know, orange and with black is not my favorite. I wish there was a little bit more white on it. And I really wish that uh, the Dutch Federation would go back to use a little bit more white on the jersey. I have a feeling the next one will be again one with white. I also would like to have a blue away jer uh, jer jersey with orange again, but you know, we'll see about that. So yeah, I have to say, uh, initially I was really excited because from my African jersey, you know I love animals on my jerseys. For, for the Dutch team, uh, some something's not quite right, honestly. For that reason, the leaves will look warm. And also on TV, the orange looks a little bit off, to, to be honest. That's the other thing. Uh, it, 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 it should maybe be uh, looking darker, but it, it, it really isn't. It is, it's a little bit of washed out color. Uh, name and numbering style, yeah, off center nine again. Uh, it the numbers are again of this style that they used, I think, from 2006 to 2012, like the digital clock style. Six stars. I mean, I see what you're trying there. I would not, I mean, if I by some way I get this jersey, I definitely would not mind having it. It's not one that I say it's ugly but it leaves me kind of lukewarm. The away jersey I find a whole lot more interesting uh, because it actually looks like a really nice jersey. The black with the polo collar uh, and then the orange lion. That looks really, really nice. I do not like the flashes on, on the side. My problem is uh, I already have a black away jersey from the Netherlands, uh, which is of course a 2012 one. Uh, so I don't necessarily see an immediate need for this one, although the crest on that one is of course a whole lot nicer than uh, than the, 20, the, the 2012 one. I, I, said, I really would like to have a dark blue one with a little bit orange accents. That would be my, uh, what I'll be looking for. But yeah, uh, other than that, I really like this business casual look that it has with the, this is, Especially the color. This is what I like to see on a soccer jersey. I really love colors like this. Um, and uh, even with the orange numbers, I, I, I think that it looks really, really, really nice. I'm going to give this eight stars uh, because the overlook is pleasing. It's again, not spectacular, but the overlook to me is very pleasing. For that reason, I think uh, it fully deserves the high rating. Moving on to my home country. Um, I spent, I think, at least a video already ra ranting about it. All of the Austria jerseys are marked by this horrible, 
new, they call it commercial logo. With an eagle that I call the spider because I do not, I, I think my daughters could have drawn a better eagle. Uh, especially when you see old jerseys where they really have had the, 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 you know, the one from the coat of arms and, and so on. I actually have an also, also, also flag here. Uh, on the presidential flag there was always this eagle. That's what I want to see on a jersey we, on top of uh, an Austrian flag. A kind of, but you know, at least a shield is something that is there. I think on a red jersey, a white shield with the eagle on, that's good. But this new commercial logo, I don't like it. I don't like the interpretation of it. And then on top, they put this soccer ball in there that just looks completely out of place. Uh, and you know, I hate if they put the 1970 uh, ball in there because I really do. This is so. Um, clip art, unimagin unimaginative, yeah, we are a soccer federation, boom, no, and you know, I would maybe even write, make a completely new logo and go the hungry Slovakia route, uh, but using a national symbol, keep that one, and then put in addition uh, your logo, but you know, in this case, it wouldn't make much sense, I hate this logo with a vengeance, having said that, the new look for the Austria shirt, it is really crafted by culture in a way that it tries to replicate the look of this classic traditional vested shirts that uh, we have, um, you know, the, the traditional clothing in a way. And it really pulls off that look, especially when this is worn with black pants, which can kind of re replicate the lederhosen in a way. With white pants, it looks more Austria. But in black pants, the look is better. Uh, so you have kind of the undershirt, which is in white, and then you have the vest over. That actually looks really nice and interesting. And if it wasn't for the spider on there, I actually would like this jersey a whole lot. Uh, it took me a while, while to get, get used to, but I really do like it. Also, the sleeve cuffs with the Austrian flag. That's a really nice touch. For that reason, I, it, is, it is overall a really, really nice jersey marked by... A logo that I just cannot stand in many ways and for that reason you won't get a very high grade but I think I want to also go kind of the seven star route the lo with a proper logo we would be talking eight to nine here um, then the away jersey that's a whole lot of story I and I think that was the original original I detested this black away jersey where um, again the new commercial logo in white, there's so much contrast that all the attention is drawn to that ugly abomination. The jersey itself, by itself, is actually not that bad with the um, turquoise and the black and the gold and the inspiration being the Art Nouveau style uh, from uh, especially in Vienna. I can get on board with it. However, it is not an Austrian look, especially when you compare, uh, when, when you then combine it with uh, turquoise shorts and socks. I think an all black look would be much, much better. In addition, uh, this whole thing has become a political issue as well because the ruling party used to be the black party and by reinventing yourself and becoming a little bit more crooked than even before, uh, they chose turquoise as a new color. And their name is Ö, ÖVP, so O with umlaut, a V and P, and the Austrian F uh, Football Federation is ÖFP, so it's basically a few letters uh, switched ar uh, around that sound phonetically very similar, and so the thing is, yeah, maybe Puma has misheard, they wanted to make a jersey for the party and not for uh, the Football Federation, because that's what it looks like. I had the chance of buying this earlier this year for really, really, really cheap and I said, no, I, I don't like it. Mainly because of the new logo, but also the overall look just is not good. Um, I know there are people that like it. I never liked it. I also think that the pattern could have been chosen a little bit wiser. It, I know it's supposed to be eagles, feathers, but I see it actually the other way around. I see more like spikes come, 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 coming out, out of it. It is, nah. I think with that inspiration, you could have done a whole lot better. I like the Art Nouveau that uh, Bill Billings Vienna. There's really some uh, very interesting out there. 
but this jersey does not rep replicate this and for that reason I'm actually thinking I'm going too high here this is a five star jersey for me um, and then it was replaced with the new Puma one and honestly of all the new Puma jerseys the Austria jersey is probably the best looking one um, black you see that the new commercial logo is kind of he he hidden away in a, in a shadow pattern which is actually quite nice so this goes all over I I like the idea. I also like that they use the Austrian flag there. I think it should have been thicker. Uh, and then the words on the front. That jersey by itself, I think, has a chance. Yes, it would be nice to have a proper logo somewhere and so on. Uh, but I think that jersey by itself, there is something there that the other teams do not have. So I think this is definitely the best one for them. Um, however, where they then, and I, you know, I'm only rating the jersey, but where they really mess it up is when they were playing then against England and suddenly we have turquoise pants with that. Double UTF. If you want to go a different color, take red. The turquoise doesn't fit at all with that. It, it was just, I, I, I think most the Twitter in Austria went crazy over this color combination. Again, also because of this... Uh, the currently ruling party. It's ugly. It, it, it was an ugly look. As I said, the jersey itself is fine. For me, it's almost a toss-up between the two black black ones, so I give this also five stars. Moving on to the Minos, North Macedonia, who have released new jerseys for the Euros, but they will be staying to, with, with the ones they had to, uh, since 2016. Jako delivered probably the ultimate Macedonia design and I've talked about it in a Nations League jersey re review two, 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 two year, years, years ago and I honestly have not really now looked up the grades so it would be interesting to uh, go and compare them. I really do like this one and meanwhile it's I I iconic. It takes the Macedonian flag, it takes a red jersey and then uh, everything radiating out from the crest. It's a really, really nice look, I have to say. Uh, and even uh, the numbering and lettering style on it is quite nice. I cannot say, I mean, the color is maybe weird and then, you know, this this shape that's thrown out with uh, with the piping, maybe that's something that's a little bit too, too, too much. But for a small brand, and Yako at the time was really, really a small brand, that's now slowly getting into better teams. This is an outstanding jersey. And I, I think I've given it eight stars and I want to stick with that. It's a really great look. And even the away jersey that I have now, it really looks nice. And I have to say the material is nice. I got it, of course, with na a name and a name set. I really like the font also. It's very unique, very special. Um, I also can only give this eight stars. I really, really like them. I also want to show you the jerseys that were supposed to be worn. And... Since the nickname is the Lynx, there's a Lynx graphic on there. Um, I think it went a little bit too far. First of all, the red is a little bit too dark. Uh, the graphic is very much like the Netherlands jersey, except you can uh, see it a little bit better. And I don't like the this webbing or whatever is on the shoulders. However, I think it is a interesting new look. Mainly, I don't like the red on it. And so, yeah, I'm going more the five stars uh, before. The away jersey is in white. You can see the links very nicely. I think here it looks actually better. I would wish that there's a little bit more red in there as well. Like take the color in red or, 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 or make those dots here in, in, in red. So, uh, but all over it's a slightly better look. So I would give that six stars. And then black, yeah, there's no national color on there because they went just between the yellow and the red and have orange. I think the home and the away are better, so four stars for that one. And so we'll end this one. Yeah, I told you a lot about Aust Austria, but yeah, uh, there are many reasons to not like stuff here. And as an Austrian, I'm actually not going to really support the Austrian national team, as I said before. Let me know what you thought about the jersey in the group, whether you agree or disagree with my ratings. Um, it's the most varied group that that we've seen so far. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey, just in case you enjoyed this video, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider following me on social media and actually subscribe to my channel so that you stay updated with everything that happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.